it's, it's important for all of us to understand that we are largely in charge of our own medical destinies. It's just food. Let's just eat a little differently and see if we can impact cancer on, on a level where it's vulnerable. Seeing all these things happen uh, in the short, incredibly short time span that I've been studying this is almost surreal. Nutrition is extremely powerful. I'm an advocate for what works, and this just happens to be something that works quite effectively for a large number of people, and I think it presents a tremendous amount of hope. But I think for way too long we've kind of ignored the fact that diet and nutrition is actually a tool to treat disease as well. What is the output? What's the outcome? Are people actually healthy? To be empowered to thrive, we have to focus on our health and wellness, and it's the neglected side of healthcare right now. Alzheimer's is a preventable and often reversible syndrome of cognitive decline. And the fact that it's directly helping people now, it kind of feels like it's made my, my life worthwhile. The obesity epidemic uh, continues to rise. So we need new ways of thinking about it. It gave me a second chance at, at having a normal and healthy life. Well, as we under, uncover the mechanisms by which this works, it's going to be very exciting to see how it works for different diseases. Food choices make a difference to your mental health, a huge difference. Instead of focusing on living for the longest time possible, how about you live the maximal experience of life now? Every single choice they make every single day, what they eat, how they sleep, how they stress, makes a massive difference in their overall life. And it's up to me, it's up to my team, it's up to everybody here at this conference to make that difference and to be that voice moving forward.